Spied calls on women to take up leadership and decision-making roles. Their participation at the district-level elections has been low. In the following report, Lucy Ayamila takes a look at women and persons with disabilities participation at the district level elections in the Aguna East District and West Municipality in the Central Region. The 1992 Constitution gives equal opportunities for men and women to be elected to political positions at the local and national levels. Article 36, Clause 6 states that the state shall take all necessary steps to ensure the full integration of women into the mainstream of economic development of Ghana. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 5 calls for the need to ensure women's full and effective participation and equal opportunities for leadership at all levels of decision-making in political, economic and public life. Available information indicates women participation at the district level elections has not been encouraging. I am at the Aguna West Municipal Electoral Office here in Aguna Swedro. We are looking at the number of females that are contesting for the assembly member positions within the municipality. We are told that the number of females that contested for the positions, I mean the assembly member positions, are relatively low and we are looking at why we have such low figure. Out of a total of 80 persons contesting the district level elections in 31 electoral areas in the Aguna West Municipality, six are females, representing 8% of the total figure. In 2015, six females vied against 67 males with four of them winning and 49 females contested in the unit committee elections against 214 males. 49 women are currently contesting in this year's unit committee election out of 279, representing 18%. Also in the Aguna East District, only two females are contesting out of the 60 candidates. Society has actually defined different roles for men and women. So when you come to issue of uh, political leadership, is something that is in a way in uh, a man's world and uh, one reason that we can give for the female under representation or women under representation is that uh, uh, many women uh, do not even present themselves or run for political office. Abigail Minsan has an ambition of becoming an assembly member in the future and tells me why women are not getting involved in the decision-making process. I think we lack confidence. Women lack confidence. And then secondly, our locality, the illiteracy ratio is very, very high. That deters the women from contesting the assembly. No person with disability is vying for any of the positions. An economist and development policy expert, Dr. Erika Kubing says some persons with disabilities still have to be carried to assess story buildings without elevators and ramps. He believes the poor financial status and stigmatization have been preventing persons with disabilities from getting involved in the decision-making process. We need to involve our persons with disability, so if they are not represented at all, almost zero in all the unit committee, town area councils and uh, the assemblies, and it's something that we have to look at. So we have to go back to Act 2006 and come out with guidelines to operationalize it with indicated specific numbers. I think that can help us. In the run-up to the district level elections on Tuesday, December 17, the Aguna West Municipal Electoral Officer for Sinanobu says the assembly is fully prepared. We have taken delivery of all the necessary materials and we are still packaging to ensure that Tuesday becomes a successful day. Voting in the Aguna West Municipality will take place in 173 polling stations. Lucy Ayambila, TV3 News, Central Region.